begin. Hi guys, we're gonna do a quick story time um, about something that's happening right now because I'm really frustrated and the best time to talk about it is when you're like heated in the moment because it gets the better content. So basically, I woke up this morning 6, 30, and 8, got ready to go stand in line at the DMV because I don't have an appointment till October and I'm not trying to not have a license till October, you know? Kind of don't want to get pulled over and be like, sorry officer, I have an appointment in October to get my driver's license again. So I stood in line, I got there at 7.30, I was chilling, I was in line, I was like, okay, like this, this isn't too bad, you know? I don't know why people complain about the DMV. So I had the appointment originally in October to get my real ID. If you don't know what a real ID is, good. No, I'm just kidding. You need it before October of 2020, children, if you want to fly in America. Anyways, so I was like, let me just get that done. Like, I'm 18 now. Like, let's just get an appointment. Let's do some adult things. So then I lose my license and my card, and I was like, frick. So I go to the DMV this morning, sitting in line, like I said, big chillin'. And finally, at 8.02, the line starts moving, and I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And I go up to the lady, and she's like, oh, what are you here for today? And I'm like, hey, I lost my license, so I need a new one. And she was like, did you take the application test yet? And I was like, no. And she was like, oh, okay, then you're just going to go over there, and then when they call this number, you can get up and go to whatever window. I was like, okay. So I take the test, and it's like, do you need a new ID? Like, new did you lose it like what what's the tea so i was like i lost it i want to get a real id but if i do it at another appointment like it's fine but i didn't know i could just walk in and freaking get one so i didn't bring all the stuff i needed i only brought the stuff i needed for a new normal license and so i was like crap i can get this like all done today like and chill you know and so um, I'm like, well, I'm like 17, like I was number 17. I was like, I have 17 slots away, plus there's like G's, there's E's, there's F, there's N's, there's B's, like I could be here for a long time. So I text my dad and I was like, I'm really stupid, like I forgot my proof of residency so I can't do my, like I could do everything else today except for my real ID and it'd be kind of convenient. He was like, oh, I'll drive to you. He drove to the wrong DMV. We're in like a town where it's like my town and then another town and then another town. There's DMVs in these towns, but there's none in mine. So you can see how that went. He drove to the wrong one, then had to go two cities back to get to the DMV where I was at. And I was very frustrated because I was like, you could have just asked which DMV I was at but he didn't. Hey but, like, it's my front camera's broken, which is gonna be really sucky because like I film on my phone. Um, but this is editing Tessa, ha ha ha. I don't want anybody to be like, oh my gosh, you're so ungrateful like for saying that. But no, like I literally bought my dad lunch the day after I was like, I owe you lunch um, for like driving, you know, and like using all his gas to come bring me that stuff. So don't call me ungrateful. I love my daddy. You don't know what happens behind the scenes. So he gets there, he brings, I already had my birth certificate and my passport, and then I had my social security memorized, but I guess I needed the card, so I asked him to bring that too. Never seen my social security card in my life, so that was weird. Um, and I was like, what the heck? Anyways, anyways. So I bring that, um, and then I have like money, just in case I have to pay a fee, because you know how the DMV is. <laughs> and then, I'm like big chillin'. You know, and I go up there and I was like, hi, I need a new license. I lost mine. She was like, okay, like, do you have your documents? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, are you going to do your real ID? And I was like, yes, but my dad's bringing my residence card. So she's like, okay, just like wait. So I waited for like 30, 40 minutes for my dad to get here. Then I go back inside. She was like, just wave me down whenever you're ready. So I'm like, hi, like, I'm back. Like. 50 minutes later like hello hi like please help me so I go up there and I start giving her all my crap and she's like oh you need two forms of re residency so my like registered my thing to vote worked like my a thing saying like oh you're allowed to vote that worked my report card didn't work which really sucked 
I have to get like an official transcript, transcript, but to do that I have to have to drive to my school and I don't want to go to school on a school day. Like, and then I have to order one and I, that takes a couple days and I'm not, I'm trying to right now. So then I was like, that's out of the question. And then she was like, do you have like a bank statement? And my dad was like, oh yeah, like they, they email you bank statements. And I was like, yeah. But like, I delete them because I don't like looking at them because I'm seeing all the money I spent throughout the month. And then I was like, plus you can't show it on your phone. Like you have to have like a paper copy. And then she's like, well, you can just run to the bank and go get a statement. And I was like, okay, so my bank doesn't open till 10. It's 948 right now. I'm just waiting because I just want to go home and go back to bed. And yeah, we're, we're, we're going through it right now. I checked it says 10 a.m. and the clock just turned 10 so do I like stand out there like I'm so <laughs> anxious oh my god okay we're gonna unplug my phone do I take my bag in there or do I just like only take my card in there like um because I don't have anything except for my card and um yeah okay guys so we're we're gonna go in okay um I'll update y'all in a minute guys okay so i got my bank statement it worked i'm done it is 10 23 i went in and then we did all of it and i was like third time's a charm am i right and dude i have this in my picture oh my god if i break up with my boyfriend i'm gonna scream so um i have my like what's it called you know the one it's a in in term in term in term i don't know then one when you have to wait for your thing in the mail. Y'all, she was like, okay, we're gonna take your picture so you can go stand over there. And I was like, y'all are gonna take my picture? If I knew I was gonna get my picture taken today, I would've beat my face and not worn my freaking glasses. But no, I have my nose piercing. I have my boyfriend's name on my neck. Look at this. It's fine. I get a new one in three years, but at least it's not my 16 year old one anymore. So yeah Anyways, we're gonna go get Taco Bell because I need I need some <laughs> Sugar I need to calm down So yeah, we're gonna go and get some Taco Bell Talk to y'all in a minute I decided on Starbucks because I have a gift card But y'all they really out here taking my picture and the lighting is like trash there so hopefully i look like decent <sighs> guys we're gonna do a quick life update so i last minute decided i want to get bangs because i'm tired of these baby hairs right so I made an appointment last night with this girl who usually does my spray tans and she also does hair and makeup So I was like do my <laughs> hair like give me bangs like I'm tired of like pulling my hair back and looking like a bald <laughs> And looking like a dude sometimes like so yeah, so I made an appointment She was like, okay, like any time before four and I was like what works best for you and she was like how about three and I was like Okay, perfect. So I wake up 530 I drive to Walmart and pick up Jada and then we go to cheer practice and we leave cheer practice it's about nine o'clock actually we got out at 9 22 today so I drop her off at work and then I go home and I shower and she specifically said you don't have to like wash your hair like I'll wash it for you and I was like lit that's one less thing for me to do and I'm gonna get pampered today so like I promise like you guys like I'm not gross I'm not some nasty like greasy um, so I'm big chilling and I'm like trying to go to sleep and then I'm like I literally can't sleep because I slept all day yesterday so we're just not gonna sleep and um, I'm like you know what I'm gonna get some mochi ice cream if you don't know what mochi ice cream is there you go that's mochi ice cream so I ate it off of a fork like didn't touch the fork at all literally like how you eat ice creamy like I'm not doing that because this is gonna get demonetized if I reenact eating ice cream but I didn't even touch the fork like I literally just like put it in my mouth um, and like chewed it then all of a sudden I was like why does my tooth feel weird y'all want to know what happened my bracket slipped off of the tooth 
because I ate ice cream. Do you see that? It is not so- Oh no. Let's <laughs> 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 be right there. So I call my dentist office or my orthodontist and they're like at lunch right now or like they were, it's 1.18 now, but they were at lunch when I called at like 12.30 and I was like, crap. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get ready, like throw on like a shirt and some shorts and drive my <laughs> down there and call them when I'm on the freeway. So that's what I did. I called them and I was like, hey, my bracket fell off. Like, I know you guys are closed on Fridays. Can you put me in today? Like, please, like I need this fix because I start school on Monday. And then after that, like I'm never going to be free. And she was like, yeah, like you can come in at 125. And I was like, perfect. Cause this, <laughs> No thanks. And plus, I have to reschedule an appointment with them anyways because I scheduled an 8 a.m. and I forgot my school started already by September. Whoops. Like, it's fine. But yeah, so, um, life update. Um, see y'all in a minute when I'm done with whatever they're gonna do. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because, like I said, I have my hair appointment in another city at 3. But yeah, okay. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. My bracket's back on and I talked to my orthodontist and he was like, yeah, like, for your side profile, you have like a little bit of an overbite and he like kind of explained, I don't know, I was gonna like point it out, you know? Like, mm, uh -huh. so he said we could fix the overbite with, the only way we could do it is like jaw surgery. And I was like, is it really gonna affect me though? Cause like I'm not gonna have jaw surgery just because like my side profile isn't like up to par, you know? Like, I think it's pretty cute. And um, so yeah. He said, you don't have to, and I was like, yeah, realistically, like, I don't see me doing, going through surgery for an, a little bit of an overbite, you know? Um, but yeah, so he said I have about eight months left, which is honestly not that far. Like, okay, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, like literally April. That is so close. And I'll probably even get them like sooner because my teeth are so straight, dude. And then they said they could um, fill in and shave for me, so I'm excited. And then um, this guy's like literally. And then I think I'm gonna get <laughs> tooth diamond, you know? Cause that'll be cute, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna drive and we're gonna get my hair cut now. Hopefully this isn't like ugly. Cause if it is like, <laughs> but like my hair grows back, like it's fine. It's fine, right? Okay. <laughs> Pray for me. Because if I look ugly with these, like, I'm literally gonna cry. Y'all, I, like, hate it right now. But it's just because, like, it's so freaking, like, ugh. Bro. If I put my hair up, though, I feel like it'll look cuter, you know? Like, see, this is cute. It's just, like, my long hair isn't. Maybe it's because this AC is blowing on me. Y'all, I'm just ugly. Like, I'm literally just <laughs> ugly. Like, that's all it is. Like, I'm just <laughs> ugly. Ha! <laughs> I, like... How do, what if I like put, see, it's cute if I like, <sighs> it's okay. I'm going to grow into liking it. I just feel like I need to style it myself because it's like really blow dried right now and like fucking type. So let's see. Guys, I don't know how to feel. Okay, guys, it's kind of growing on me. Um, it's literally been like a couple hours. It's just this whole like middle part. My friend said once it grows out, they'll think I'll like it more, so. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to film a um, outro. So here we are. Basically, um, I ended up liking my haircut. It grew on me. I just have to style it a certain way. Like it can't be pin straight, you know? But, um, yeah, I think they're really cute on me, but anyways, that's it. Um, I'll be posting another video pretty soon because I filmed it for this week. This is actually, like, two weeks ago. But, yeah. Anyways, love you guys. Bye.